Hello and good morning with Dollar or Less Food. I know, a morning video. Is he doing a breakfast item? Yes. Yes, I am. Today we're trying something. I saw it was new. I'd never even heard of it before. So I thought this might be up my alley. We're talking about the new Drumstick Classic Vanilla Cereal. You might be like me. What is General Mills thinking? What's with all these crazy cereals in the news the last couple of years? Like... That's the, uh, chips of, I mean, that's always been a thing, but like this, the, uh, sin, Sour Pouch Kids candy. I'm like, what was that thinking? Here, we're going to unbox them. This is what it looks like. According to the back, you can see there's the, uh, the wafer thingies, the, uh, balls that are yellow and the balls that are, like, brown or black. Brown. So, uh, that really is, like, the ice cream, the chocolate covering, and then the other part is the cone. So... I got this for one dollar at Dollar Tree. I didn't. I didn't get it at my normal Dollar Tree. There's one a bit farther down for me. That's like a bigger Dollar Tree. So I decided to hit that one up for once. Be like, let's see if this other one has any other better stuff. And we're going to. We're going to do it live. I'm going to pour a nice bowl of cereal. The. Uh, it looks a lot like the. Uh, it looks like, kind of like a cocoa puff. One of these. A, uh, I don't know what this would be related to, but this kind of looks like a golden gram or a cinnamon toast crunch piece. So here's the bowl. And now for the most, part that gets me the most anxious, the putting in of the milk. I have paper towels just in case. I'm a grown man who's being anxious about pouring milk into a bowl. Not a huge milk person, as you see, that's why I don't have gallons. I sometimes would, but milk is one of those things where it's just like, yeah, no. So mix it up. Now we're going to see how it tastes individually, and then I'm going to try each one of these little groups by themselves and see how they taste. <sighs> New cereal, who dis? Okay, definitely interesting. Now let's go piece by piece. Some cocoa nuggets, as they call them. A little subtle in the cocoa. I can tell what it is. It's not as cocoa-y as Cocoa Puffs, so there's that. Or Cocoa Roos, if you're a Cocoa Roo guy. Now for the uh, corn cereal pieces, as they call them. Not bad, not bad at all. It is like the exact same texture and consistency of the golden gram if you remove the sugar. So, if you like grams, you'll like that. And now for the piece de resistance, the ice cream scoops. I can tell they were going for a vanilla flavor with them. They have a very puffy texture, too. But... I don't know about them. They're a little lacking the flavor as well, too. Hmm. Overall, the pieces don't tend to really go well together. Sometimes you can, as, you remember as a kid, you grab this cereal and that cereal and that cereal, make like a big old bowl of cereal with like five of them together. Feels like this is what they tried. They're going to throw three different cereals together, see if they stick. But the, the strength of the cone pieces, that gram, just is so much so that it kind of overpowers the uh, subtlety of the cocoa nuggets and the ice cream scoops. So, it's not the best. Am I going to finish this bowl off camera? 
Possibly. Am I going to finish this entire bag? Probably not, honestly, but... It's not... The thing is, it's creative, it's inventive. I can tell they were going for a drumstick thing with it. It's not like I'm like, whoa. And for 10.6 ounces, for a dollar, that's a really good price for cereal, honestly. Like, really... If you've ever, let me guys know if this is like a normal thing where you're at, or you've never seen this before either, because uh, when I saw the store, I'm like, I have to get that. I've had it for a, a bit, so I've, I've probably had it for about two weeks, so if this isn't the first thing, oh no, I missed the mark, oh well, who cares. But yeah, if I had to give it a rating, I'm going to give it a solid six, actually. I was a little harsh earlier for things I said, but now that I think about it, and I took another bite with it all together... Together, it actually is a lot better than individually, so they might have been knowing, knowing something I didn't think about, but yeah. And well, let's just take uh, one last thing. We have to just taste how the milk has turned. Chocolatey-ish, vanilla-ish, sugary-ish, but is it better than regular milk? I don't like milk. I'd rather drink the milk than that milk. This has been Dollar or Less Food, and I'll see you next time.